I'm going to power test all of these GMRS beauties. Okay, so we got Radiodity GM30, the BTEC GMRS V1, early edition, uh, the Ocean 805G, Ocean 916, and the Ocean 9 Pro. All right, so what I'm going to do is check power output on some of the different frequencies. You get different power outputs. There's different limitations on different frequencies. So we're going to do, let's do GMRS 7. We'll do 7. Eight. Then we can hop up to 8. 8 is going to be low power, I believe, right? All right, I'm going to try channel 7 here in the high power. 3.19, 3.2 roughly. Eight. Let's go up to 8. 8 is low power. 0.7. Four, yeah, say 0.75. All right, and let's for grand, let's go up to a, a repeater. Um, well, let's do 17 real quick. Three point, almost 3.2. One, two, zero, two, two, three. Let's do repeater 15, get up into 467s and see what that looks like. 306, so about three watts. Okay, three watts on a repeater side. Looks like 3.2 and 0.75. Now, if I go down two, what are we doing? Seven? Three, Oops, four. hang on, I went way too far. Two, eight, seven. If I go with seven here, and we get 3.9, 3.8, 3.7. Three and a quarter, so I can drop it a little bit. Eight. Go up to eight. And we're getting 0 0.29, 0 0.28, 0 0.29. Okay. One, six, one, seven. We'll do 17 just for uh, seven, seven. 3.7 seven, roughly. Two, four, two, we'll do repeater 17. So we get here. And about the same, 3.6. Okay, 3.6. All right, so this one looks like it had four watts down low in the repeater ones. We dropped down about 3.6, 3.7. And low power is about 0.3. My order here is not which one's better or worse. It's going with the, uh, the connector type. That way I don't have to change out the connector on the meter a thousand times. So we're doing the females first here. Uh, antenna female. All right, let's do this 916 here. We're on seven. 4.7. Yeah. Yeah. Eight. 0.3. 36. Good, good, good. Okay. This is enough to make it happen. Let's see. Let's go up to 17, right? 17, 17. 0. 0.47. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the radios were on the same channel there. Man, this thing's cooking with gas. Let's go to repeater set. I'm doing uh, six, 600. 4.6. Little fire plug here. I like that. Spicy. Come on. And it's got a big battery, so it can handle high power better than, or it'll last longer than, you know, say the Radiodity is a lot smaller battery life. So um, normally, you know, like I said, I don't use high power unless I need to. Low power is fine for me if it makes it, my battery lasts a whole lot longer. Okay, on with the mail connector. This is actually a little bit be a little bit easier. I can get, I can get this locked in because I can just twist the outside of the SMA connector and get it to seat. So let's go with the radiodity here. The bad part is, is it's going to be a a little wrench would help if it's going to be connection uh, it's going to be there for a while but it's not so finger tight 
I got it pretty decent. Okay, she's loud. So let's go down to seven. Like I said, this is takes some effort. And it's kind of slow to come on, girl, talk to me. All right, seven should be high power. Four, whoa, 4.4, 4.3, hmm, nice. And I will say that all these are charged. I charged them all up uh, yesterday, and they haven't been used, Eight. haven't even been on. Eight, low. Two, okay, two watts. All right, let's get that. 17 was what I was using, 17. 4.4, wow. Huh. Okay, let's go up to repeater set. Two, three. Uh, do the same thing. All right, here we go. Repeater. Uh, 4.25, 4.2 something. Impressive, impressive. Uh, let's move on. All righty. The big boy, 9G. We were doing this is a quick way to do it. I love that. Let's go to seven. 4.6. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Power, power. Uh, eight. Point four, five. Point four, four. Yeah, see, this is, this bad boy is, is doing what it's supposed to be. Uh, 17, 4.8, oh, <laughs> okay, man, you know, I may have to go back, make this my daily carry, Ooh. all right, now, let's see, let's do a repeater set, 0.46, not 0 0.46, 4.6, 4.6, all right, so if you want power, Cost a little bit of money. Now the radio did really good too. I mean, for for a lot less money. Now, granted, this one has a you know it's got a bigger battery, um, so it can do high power longer. Because it will high power will drain these batteries. You sit there and you use that a lot. You're gonna you're no doubt you're gonna drain battery quick. I like to use a low power. Um, and it only use high when it's absolutely needed. I like my batteries to last. So there's that. So this is putting out the max for low. And it's doing f almost five. And that's you know, it's pretty good to do five watts on UHF on HT. Um, that's, you probably don't want any more in your face anyway. 400, the 400 megahertz range kind of resonates in the skull for wavelength, so you don't really want to be blasting UHF into your face too much. Um, that's not a, not really a, you know, a good thing for you. Just to clear things up here a little bit, this radio does put out 90% of the power of this one. Very good radio. If you got a $50 or less budget, this one does way more. Way, 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 way more. Um, it's two receivers. A bigger battery, seven bands. The menu, everything just works in the menu fast, speedy. It's a color screen. Well, yes, it costs five times as much as this. It may be close to five times the radio. It's uh, no doubt very an excellent rig. Dang it! Can't keep all these on at the same time. Whatever. Me, wait, pack light, bandwidth, arrow, box. Where the heck is power on this stupid thing? Whatever. 